video of the uh, of the topic that we're going to discuss which is the Saudi Arabia's new project the, the line, line. Yes. we came uh, we came up with this topic because I saw it on TikTok and it's kind of an interesting topic actually because it's a new project and it would help in in our ecosystem I think it yes, uh, echo. because it has, it ha it offers a lot of uh, um, eco friendly, eco -friendly advantages. advantages, and it will take a lot of things, especially when it comes to the, the technology. Yes. So I hope that you will be able to check this. Check this out. So uh, we just wanted to discuss this just so that you would be aware of it also that there is this new project that Saudi Arabia is offering, but. I mean, not offering. It's undergoing uh, Probably, development yes. action, but but we we're just curious if it's going to be implemented um, here also. If it, if it's possible if to implement around the globe, and if you're if you are also agree with it, yeah. you can able to um, share your insights uh, and thoughts project. about the project. Yes, but uh, but. The, this this is a new project and that we don't know the ins and outs of this project we don't have any uh, inside information about this we just saw a video on TikTok summarizing this project and we wanted to discuss this with you also okay so now here's the video okay video <laughs> what if every city in the world was built in a straight line Saudi Arabia unveiled plans for a future city called The Line. The plan says it can house 9 million people in just 13 square miles. The project in Niam will run on 100% renewable energy and create zero carbon emissions. As you already see in the video, so we will be talking about the summary and uh, the things that uh, we notice about the, the Line project. So what we wanted to summarize first what the line project is all about. So the line or it's uh, Saudi Arabia's new city project. So it is a city. It is a three-dimensional city that they're yes. proposing. So it's called the line because the city is supposed to be linear. So they are planning to stack up the city. So uh, that includes the hospitals, the schools, the housings. So all of this will be stuck together in a 500 meter long and 170 kilometer wide city. And it's also going to be housed in a glass mirror uh, yes. casing. Yes. Yeah, that's that's the idea of the project. So uh, you could just imagine if it, because currently we're we're living in a two dimensional. Um, world <laughs> yes or, uh, not necessarily because we're, I, we're four dimensions already <laughs> but uh, i mean the the current situation that we have the current living situation that we have is most uh, most likely to be 2d because it's just um so there's a house here and then there's a point the, a and point b that yes. we're can able to go from it i mean but here in the line, it will be on 3D. Yes, 3D. Because it's not only flat, it would be, oh, it's possible to have our our hospitals or our schools uh, just in just a five minute walk. So that I think um, what we imagine the line would be is that there's a building here and then another building here. And building. what connects them are schools, hospitals, or just a passway, a passageway, just so that we could be able to reach a lot of the destinations that we want to reach in just five minutes. Yes. That's that's what we think the idea of the line project is. 
So, so it's very convenient yes. if it will be implemented uh, because it could be just five minutes and there's no traffic, especially here in the Philippines. <laughs> yes, there's no need for cars according to them. And there, so that there will be zero car but that's, uh, that's a that's very good for our environment since we are very implementing the sustainability when it comes to the technology or trend right now. Yes. So, and what's good about this project also is um, in the new city, the the one that they're developing, they situated it in the uh, middle of an ocean and the mountain. So, the natural uh, environment, environment is accessible to, uh, to the people that are living in the line, that will live in the line. So, uh, currently, they are up, they are saying that approximately 9 million people can live there once it is developed. So, well, a, a lot of people. Yes, right? a lot of people. And uh, um, it is very eco-friendly because we'll be, we will be having a lot of space for our environment, such as the forest uh, and the sea. Yes, to grow. To Not just uh, because currently we're using all the spaces. M not all the spaces but most spaces for our living conditions yes. and what we need so this time when it's linear then there there will be more space for the um, ecosystem, ecosystem for the natural resources to grow and th they are also saying that they're going to use renewable energy yes so it's very, it's very eco friendly good. yes and it's uh, actually very Accessible, they said that because forty percent of the world can travel there for only six hours. Holy. Yeah. So I think that's that's, that's very a, commendable. Yes. Right? <laughs> and this is a summary of the line, and hopefully that will be implemented in the new city. So what's the next question? And our next question is: Would you want to live in the line? For me. Yeah. If we have the opportunity to live there. If I have the there, opportunity, I think I would. Yes. Yes, because yes. given that um, no cars uh, and it has a reusable energy, yes. it will be uh, beneficial to the environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, the traffic, <laughs> it will be, <laughs> there will be no the chaotic, with, 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 I mean the stress uh, in regards to traffic or traveling will be removed. Because if you only have at least 5 minutes to go somewhere that you really want to go. And everything is accessible. Yes. So what what is the con in that, right? Why would you not want that? <laughs> I think um, if I my con would be uh, uh, I'm not really familiar first. Yes. So on the environment because it will be new, something new for us. It's new adjustments yes. for all of us, especially the old like, mm. because currently yes. in that technology especially when it comes to technology because a lot of people especially the age people are the older generation yes, are having a hard time to adjust in technology yes so that that's a big a big change but um when it comes to change a lot of us can transition well yes. i think and it, it's it's the new city is only in Saudi Arabia as of now. It's not necessarily uh, the whole world is changing into that project. But um, if it will be implemented mm -hmm. in other parts also of the world, then it will be that will be great because I think that's uh, a lot of energy saving. Yes, uh -huh. and it's very. I think we can achieve. For example, it will be implemented here in the. Philippines, I think we could, we will have a greater chance of achieving uh, negative zero, uh, what do you, uh, negative zero, what, what is that? Carbon like, waste, carbon yes. energy. I, yes, that's that's the goal because I think there's only one country in the world that has achieved that and I think we need to go to have that as a goal because a lot, because there's a lot of changes that's happening in the environment because of climate change yes. it's That's right. not good changes so we need to uh hasten <laughs> that that uh that change change yes. i believe that people are we people are very uh um open to changes yeah 
and we can adjust especially during the back in the days when we evolve <laughs> yes. we adapt to changes so i think um by having that kind of project which is the line we can also adapt if it will be implemented yes. not just in saudi arabia <laughs> yes not just in saudi arabia so um our last question is do you think it is possible to implement i think it will it it is possible to implement because it's being implemented. Yes, in because Saudi yes, because it's currently developed. Currently, mm -hmm. go, it's the, there is an ongoing um, de development, or it is already in progress. Saudi Arabia, but I think for other countries, they need to see more first the the benefit and if it applicable for their country. Oh, and for and it their to be implemented. Yes. yes. I think, but I, I think it is a possible implementation because. If it's that great of a project, why wouldn't um, people want to implement it? And I think most of the changes that are being uh, acquired or being done by people is um, when it's easily accessible. Mm -hmm. So if it's easy, then it's easier for people to also uh, be interested in it. So if it's an easy change, then it would be, I think it's faster than but uh, and also uh, when you have uh, because in Saudi Arabia I think they're building a new city in a city that's not still, currently still inhabited right? yes uh, still in the, in the still country. developing yes developing cities yes so it's not in the in their current cities which are already civilized I mean industrialized so that's that's why it's easier to implement there. So maybe each country can have a space for the line that they could uh, try, and then the, if it's if it's a good idea, and uh, because the current the current uh, new city that's being developed can house nine million people already. Imagine and how many people <laughs> in that yes. particular area. And it will be fit in the line. Yes. So maybe if there's a, the line project in the city, then um, the they can build another the line project for the rest of the people in the city, so that they can they could implement it wholly in that uh, in that country. Yes. So maybe it's possible. It's possible to implement. I. That's what we think. Yes. Um, we don't think yeah. we don't know about the the government if they're willing to implement that. <laughs> but I hope that we can that it will be implemented not just in Saudi Arabia but for the rest of the country. Especially it is very eco friendly. And it will help our home, which is the earth. Yes. And that's all for today's video. So if you are any comments or suggestions regarding to the line you can able to share it in comments etc yes so bye for now and we'll see you on the next episode bye, bye.